welcome. And again, this is part of a series on sending uh, files and information from your computer to other devices uh, using audible tones. And we're going to do this uh, through the airwaves and stuff. And again, this is part of a series. There's going to be lots of videos following up on this. We already watched a previous one on doing Morse code on your computer. If you haven't checked that out, be sure to check out the full playlist. There should be a link in the description and hopefully at the end of this video, if I remember to put it there. <coughs> Now, um, as I stated in the previous video, Morse code is an option. Oh, but it's super slow. So the next option I looked into is something that I used to play around with years ago called PSK31, uh, in which there's lots of different similar things to PSK31. PSK31 is just the, the, uh, ver the format that I'm used to working in. Um, but the program I used to use, which is called GPSK31, uh, no longer seems to be in the repositories, and it was kind of outdated at the time of making it as far as how it worked with the audio devices on my computer. I had to start up um, basically virtual uh, sound systems to get it to work, but it worked fine. Um, but let's go ahead and look at what are what is available in the repositories. Again, I'm running Debian here. I'm going to do aptitude, and I'm just going to search for PSK and see what comes up. And here you can see we get a few different programs. Uh, you can see right here uh, that I have three installed, and uh, we're just going to play around with the first one today. Uh, they're all kind of similar, uh, but Lin PSK. So I'm going to start that up. And right away, if I click this uh, transmit receive button, it's going to tell me that the uh, device is not available. And it does not seem to save my settings. Uh, I got to go into general. Uh, actually, there was a save settings button there. I just realized. Uh, but if you go into settings, uh, general settings, uh, we're going to change this to whatever your audio card is. I'm going to set this to my internal audio card here for both the input and output. And I'm going to click OK. Uh, at this point, I can go ahead and click this transmit receive button. And I'm now listening and transmitting. And uh, up here, if I had audio coming in, I'd be receiving it. And down here, I'm going to type what I want to go out. And you can see it is picking up my microphones, picking up some audio that it's trying to decode, but it's not actual tone. So you'll get that occasionally uh, when you're just recording from an open mic. Uh, but let me go ahead here, and I'm going to start typing. And I'll click Transmit. And I can keep typing. So as you can see, it's transmitting. And it's not just using dots and dashes like Morse code. It's actually using different frequencies to uh, send different messages, which is a lot faster. And I like PSK31. Uh, and there's a lot of programs all similar to this. And they're all geared towards you know uh, people with uh, ham radios and sending out, you know, communicating with other people. Let me go ahead and stop this here. And I'll tell you what, they're very easy to use once you open them up, you know, at least getting the little bit going. There's a lot of options in here that I haven't even played with and they all have similar options. Um, and what I'm going to do, I'm going to exit out of this. The problem with PSK31 and, and other similar, um, I'm not sure the word I'm looking for, formats of sending data like that, for the most part, are all GUI interfaces. I could not find a shell, a command prompt um, application for PSK31, um, which kind of makes it useless to me for what I'm trying to do because I'm trying to receive the information and send it from other applications and then dump it into other files that, that programs can pull from. So although this is a great way to communicate, um, if you need to, it does not work for my project of having input go out and then being manipulated into its own little GUI uh, or some sort of format output or even sending commands to another machine. I need it to be a shell application, not a GUI application. If anyone knows of a PSK31 program that's available in the repositories, I don't want, I have no need to go out of the default repositories for Debian. Um, I would love to know about it. Even if it's not in the repositories, tell me about it. I'll check it out. Um, but I try to stick to what's in the repositories. And again, there's a few of these programs. And that's just uh, ones that have PSK31 in the title. There's other programs out there um, that it may not be in the, in the title here. Uh, but again, uh, so many of these with GUI interfaces, it's, I'm surprised that I can't find one that that is just a shell command because you would think it'd be simpler. But I found something similar that we're going to be looking at in the next video uh, that does very similar. I'm not sure 
as far as speed, how well it works, but it's very similar, and it is a shell command, and it is in the repositories. So I thank you for, for watching this. You know, again, check out these PSK31 applications. There's a few of them. It's a fun way to type and send information, communicate with other people, uh, you know, through audible tones. Uh, I thank you for watching. Be sure to check out the full playlist. There should be a link in the description of the video and hopefully at the end of this video. And um, there's more videos coming out later this week. So if you're going through the playlist and a video is not available, it will be in a couple of days. So, um, and if you're a Patreon supporter, you've already gotten these videos, unless you're watching it. Yeah. <laughs> Patreon supporters uh, get download download videos if you're in that tier of support. If you want to support my videos, go to patreon.com forward slash metalx1000. There's a link to that in the description. You can also support me through PayPal. There's a link to that on my website, which is filmsbychris.com. That's Chris with the K. There's a link to that in the description where you can search through all my videos uh, very easily from this channel and my other channel. I do thank you for watching, and as always, I hope that you have a great day.